Okay, so this is this is Quizbo the host. Uh, we we try not to. We want to make the game as accessible as possible. Good. Uh, Have you thought about monetizing it by linking in um, the quiz ticks to potentially a cinema goers, for example? So you might get to a certain level, and an offer might come up uh, to go and uh, see a certain movie or get a certain ticket at a certain price. We're looking at different ad networks. So one of them that we're we're trying to figure out at the moment is one called Keep, where you tie in achievements to your rewards that you give the users. So, so they would kind of facilitate that and, and we could potentially make some money from that. Basically, let's say you just select the first one to view. Uh, kind of see, it, it takes you to Nice, it's a Rivera itinerary, uh, then takes you to Aix-en-Provence and Marseille, and that's the end of it really. Either if you were to <clears throat> make a booking, is it one booking you make or, or several? No, at the moment, if you book, if you click that, it'll take you to another page to book because uh, a lot of research has shown that people are really very wary when they want to book a lot of items at one go. So this is my, my, my friend Mike, and that was the Bitcoin exchange rate when I was in the pub testing it earlier. And if I do a refresh on his icon, it hopefully will change. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> I think. Perhaps as an individual product on its own, it might be very difficult to monetize, but as part of a suite of other tools, mm. it could definitely add. They enter the code there, and then they basically receive electronic version of the book. And they look through and pick the one they like the most. So it's kind of a combination of red letter days and not on a high street. So we work with a small designers across the UK to make sure we give a very unique products. One thing as well, if you're going for the angle of, you know, I thought about these things for you, maybe you could find thing, you could find four things that you think they would like. So maybe there's like a slider above the 12, so I thought you might like these things, and there's an outside chance you might like these other eight. So with this kind of technology, what it's doing is it's actively encouraging people to do what they're already doing, which is sending links to each other um, on Facebook. So, you know, just to give you a bit of context, uh, six weeks ago I said it was my sister's birthday and I left it to the last minute, as, as, as I always do. Um, so, you know, started chatting to my sister, saying, you know, what should I get for her birthday? You know, she's shopping around, she's looking on websites, so if she has a, a little button saying, you know, ask a friend or recommend to a friend and sends a link straight to me, it actively facilitates the communication that's already, already going on, which is only going to help improve driving more referrals and sales to, you know, the owner of, of this website. Great impromptu demo there, thank you very much. Um, I have a question actually to start off with. It's quite a broad one, I suppose, which is um, how easy is it to sort of integrate these into um, an existing Shopify? Mm. Um, what the client has to do when, when you know, setting up this app is first of all, just click install app. They then have to go and create an app on Facebook, which normally takes a few minutes, and they have to copy and paste uh, one line of code um, into their, their theme file. It's pretty tricky. <laughs>